Thanks, Nisa. It's been a really exciting week again for Bitcoin now that we've broken that long term downtrend that we started in 2018. Bitcoin currently sits a little bit below 12K. Now, looking at the Byte Tree network demand model, which I introduced a few weeks ago, we can see that we're currently on a score of five out of six. Now, remember, the Byte Tree network demand set looks at six different indicators of the network demand. When we have more than four of those on, the market is bullish and if there's less than four then we're bearish. So we've been bullish for the last couple of weeks. We're currently at a five out of six as Bitcoin continues to push upwards. So as Bitcoin continues to push upwards, the valuation actually is holding steady. And this is um, a factor of the growth in settlement volume that we've seen on chain. So on this chart here, we can see the gray line underneath uh, is the network value to transaction ratio. This is the equivalent to a price to sales ratio for the network. So what we're saying here is that the sales or the sort of value that's being generated by the network through the increase in settlement volume is increasing faster than the market price. And you can see there on the far right of the graph that there's a divergence uh, between the NVT um, on the five week time frame uh, and the price, which is really positive. You know, price is rising, but we're not getting too overvalued because it is substantiated by network demand and network demand drives value. Now, as price has surged upwards, we can see that volatility measured over 30 day period and annualized has hit 40%. That's off a low earlier this year of 18% and a high back in March of 140%. The line on top represents the velocity of Bitcoins. That's the speed that they're moving through the network. We can see that velocity picks up prior to price volatility, suggesting that there's an on-chain movement as coins go to liquidity venues before then um, being entered into the order book and creating that volatility in the exchange traded price. Volatility is often good for traders and we've been waiting for this breakout in volatility for the last few weeks. Unfortunately, it's broken to the upside. Moving into the last slide, we can look here at the uh, total revenues generated by miners. So the bars along the bottom uh, represent the total revenues, which remember are made up of fees for uh, entering transactions onto the network and the block reward, uh, which miners are rewarded for mining new blocks. The dotted line in the middle represents the halving, and we can see that at that period, the total revenues generated were essentially halved since the um, coin base or the block reward made up a significant portion of revenues. Shortly after the halving, as we've touched on before, the fees uh, made up a much larger percentage as the block times dropped and this created congestion on the network. But fast forwarding to today, we can see that there's this uh, uptrend has continued um, where fees are making up a bigger percentage of total revenues. So fees remain high, but that's allowing these revenues uh, for miners to climb back towards uh, the levels that we saw pre-halving. So pre-halving miners were generating around $18 million per day in revenues, but sometimes that was only one or two percent uh, of that was made up in fees. As you can see, the left hand side of the chart, that blue line is relatively low, uh, close to zero. What's happened in the last couple of months is that fees have increased uh, in absolute terms, increased as a percentage of total revenue generated and driven those revenues from a low of around six million dollars a day uh, up back to about 12, pushing even $13 million a day. So they're moving back towards those pre-halving levels, which is really positive for the industry. It's positive for the network, and it bolsters the security of transactions that are going onto the network. Uh, remember, we need miners to, to be able to generate good revenues since they're an integral part of this Bitcoin network and the, the blockchain ecosystem.